Morning year three. Right, it's time to write the next two paragraphs of our story. So I got up to this point here where the uh, giant was about to drink the poison and he got saved by Fig. So looking at my story map, um, I've got the part where they end up, the giant ends up imprisoned at the old temple. So carrying on from where I left off, I'll say, so um, the giant... was taken to uh, the old temple in the mountains, maybe. Okay. Uh, now, Fig and Tolgo went with him. And we need to get, oh, in my story, I've already got the bit here, eventually they became friends, so I'm going to put that in there. Um, eventually they became And I want to get in a little bit about the fact that their language, they started to understand each other. So, Fig played, talked, and listened to the giant. To the giant. Um, finally, he began to understand her language. And then she found out his name, so um, she found out, found out his name was Gulliver. Full stop. So then I want to put in, so she, then she took him to the king. So this is the bit we're up to here, the king. So a fig decided uh, to take a new friend to meet the king. So I want to put in some speech, so I think how would she address the king? She'd probably say something like, your royal highness or your majesty. I go with your majesty. Open my speech marks. Your majesty, I have come to ask, yeah, come to ask you to release uh, the giant Gulliver. Uh, she's going to have to explain why. So she's going to say he is uh, a good man. who means us no harm. Explained fig. Now the king is gonna wanna ask him something. So here we go. So the king 
turned to Gulliver. Now we're about to start the speech, so I'm going to put a comma in. And he's going to say, uh, Tell me, Gulliver, which end of a boiled egg do you open? And obviously, Gulliver thinks this is ridiculous, so maybe we'll write that. Uh, so, Gulliver, or maybe we won't even say it's ridiculous, he's going to laugh, isn't he? Gulliver laughed. Um, and the king's going to have to explain, so maybe... Um, so the king explained that the uh, Lilliputians, Lilliputians and Belfusians had been at war for years over this very question. And then Gulliver thought this was ridiculous, didn't he? Thought this was ridiculous. But he decided to end the war. But we won't say how. We know what he's going to do. But we'll leave it like that with an exclamation mark. Right, so you've... I've written my two paragraphs. Now I'm going to go back through and just check that it all makes sense. And if there's anything I can improve. So, so the giant was taken to the old temple in the mountains. Now, I mentioned that she wanted him released, but actually it's not clear that he was actually in prison. So the giant was, maybe, I'll change this bit, was imprisoned uh, in the old temple. So that is better than that. So, so the giant was imprisoned in the old temple in the mountains. Fig and Tolgo went with him. Eventually, they became friends. Fig played, talked, and listened to the giant. Finally, began to understand her language. She found out his name was Gulliver. Okay, so far so good. So Fig decided to take a new friend to meet the king. Ah, maybe we can fit something in there. So maybe after a few weeks. After a few weeks. So we've got a nice fun stuff verbial added. Fig decided to take a new friend to meet the king. And we've got our speech there. Your Majesty, I've come to ask you to release the giant, Gulliver. He is a good man who means us no harm. Ah, explained Fig, I forgot my speech marks. So add those in. Uh, the king turned to Gulliver. Tell me, Gulliver, which end of a boiled egg do you open? Gulliver, ah, I've done it again. Forgot my speech marks. Now, looking back at my speech, I remember the comma here, but... Each bit of speech is a sentence within itself, so this should be a capital letter. So, tell me, Gulliver. Ah, good. King explained that the Lilliputians and the Belfusians have been at war for years over this very question. Gulliver, Gulliver thought this was ridiculous, but he decided to end the war. Well, okay, I think that's a bit better. Uh, oh! I was looking at this bit. She found out his name was Gall Gulliver. She'd find out more about that. Maybe I'll add in. She found out his name was Gulliver and he was a uh, traveller from far away. So adds a little bit more depth to the story. Right, give it a go yourself uh, and um, speak to you tomorrow.